name is Sergio Armet and I'm uh, the founder and co-owner in Kido Motors. Well, I think like most of the, of the guys of, uh, of Barcelona or, or Spain or Italy, this kind of uh, places is just when, when you, you are younger and, and the motorcycle is the, uh, like the first step on freedom. Yeah. And so at the first time you, you can um, afford it or you can uh, you have, a, in my case, a sister that left a uh, motorcycle. I was uh, there on the pole position for, uh, for, um, for uh, being in charge of uh, this bike. And, uh, it begins everything. Then you, can, you begin to um, be with friends and you want to be faster and have better parts and all begins to evolve. <laughs> It begins, uh, I was working for uh, Harley Davidson, like a build brand manager for Spain and Portugal. And when uh, Buell stops, uh, Harley stops Buell, uh, I begin to, to think in, in my own project. Um, I have been in all the aspects of motorcycling, uh, like client, like seller, like uh, in a brand so uh, the next step was to, to have my own thing um, Kido, it's like kind of um, it comes uh, from family uh, but my sister has a company that calls Kido Agency it's related to, to clothing and, and it comes from uh, Kill Bill movie uh, Patrick Skido is a Uma Thurman character and um, we love the, the, the movie, the aesthetics of Tarantino and, and Kido was a good name. The son of uh, one of our customers' dog, uh, it was a present and he say the name has to be Kido, so it comes like this. But it was first the company and then the dog, not reverse. Well, I love, I love uh, the things that have uh, sense. So uh, for me, in, I have very minimal in terms of, uh, of design. And uh, two aspects, two main aspects uh, when I think uh, on a bike. Uh, it's uh, to be more lighter um, with uh, improve the power also. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, a lot of uh, related to, to racing, but it's, it's because uh, it's for me simple as that. It's, uh, it's more funny if you have a lighter bike uh, with more power. And you have a good suspension and a good brakes. Uh, all the rest is second. It's always on my mind to to try to to go lighter and more powerful. And, uh, either way, if you're working on a Harley or you're working on a enduro bike, so it's, but I. I I admit that uh, sometimes uh, do this in a 300 kilos bike is silly, but... <laughs> well, it, it comes from, a, in fact, from a customer that asked us uh, about uh, what you can do with a Dominator. Um, at first, first impression was uh, well, it's not a red bike because it's so ugly well, ugly it's um, a very good bike in, in other terms but it's not uh, you know if you are not thinking in customizing this kind of bikes uh, like it's not your first idea and, uh, but then he show he showed me a, a bike from an English um, workshop 
and it was a super job. And it changes completely my mind, so I decided to go for it. Uh, it, it was not for the, this customer, customer is just uh, uh, asking about. But so um, the good thing is that in, in Spain we we are lack, we have some lack of uh, this kind of uh, Japanese 80s or 70s bike. Uh, but the Dominator and the Yamaha XT, this single cylinder Japanese, are very common. So it was very cheap to find a, an old one. And it was uh, perfect for our first uh, attempt in the custom world. And, uh, and finally, with uh, yes, it was the plan was to save weight and do the the bike uh, a little more powerful, it's a very reliable engine and multi-purpose uh, bike uh, and it fits perfect with, uh, with uh, the Kido Mantra also, so it's, it, was, it, was, it was good, it was, you, you never know what, what is going to happen in the first build but uh, at the end uh, and, um, the first time we published the, the bike uh, came from Bike Exif and was sold in 15 minutes to Italy. So it was. <laughs> so from then we decided to, to do this more often. Well, nowadays, yeah, we, we have. Uh, in Italy, we have a lot of attention with this kind of bikes. In fact, we have built uh, uh, seven of the Dominators for, for Italy, but also we have built uh, bikes for Los Angeles, uh, Miami, Abu Dhabi, mm, Dubai, uh, Switzerland, uh, England, Scotland. Yeah, yeah now, nowadays it's, um, you know, it's a global thing. Um, we are very happy. Uh, for us, it's an honor to, that uh, a guy from uh, Los Angeles sent us a bike uh, and trust in, in our job. So. Well, now um, now we are, we are in a key point of, in the business terms, and I think in the next year will be our best year. Uh, for sure. Uh, we have uh, some good plans uh, working in our own clothing uh, parts uh, and in an evolution of the Kido Uno for example uh, with another donor bike more powerful uh, uh, working in some Ducatis and, uh, trying, trying new things and trying to have uh, try to uh, reduce our um, bespoke uh, motorcycles, because at the moment we are plenty of projects, but uh, we need to have our own projects also, when we have 100% uh, of, of our um, freedom in design, and, and try to, to do this uh, compatible with uh, bespoke uh, work for customers. So, uh, we are in a in a good spot now. Great. Thanks.